Hello everybody, welcome back to the OS World Cup 2022. Still again, we're in the round of 32, we've had a bit of our break, you know, a good two hour, two hour rest for our eyes and our ears. But uh, now it's time to get back on with our next matchup. It is Indonesia versus Finland. Wow, this should be great. I'm really looking forward to this one. Both these teams have got some star players and it should be an excellent matchup. Of course, joining me in for this epic one is Mavs once again. How are you doing, Mavs? Doing pretty good. Glad to be back again for the second match. Second match of our OC World Cup 2022. And yeah, pretty good one, like you said. I think here, Indonesia versus Finland. We got seed number 10 being Indonesia going up against Finland, seed number 23. So, you know, some pretty insane players on both of these rosters and star players as well um, standing out to me specifically. I think Finland coming into this. OWC, I think with some unfortunate losses from their roster, if I recall correctly. But, you know, they've still got a pretty solid core there. And when you've got players like Freeze and Anesthetic on your side, you've got some pretty damn good players still going into this round of 32. And I think they've still got a pretty good chance to maybe get a few points here off of Indonesia. We'll have to see how this higher seeded team, being Indonesia, performs today, as, as is always the case on the easier pulls, you know? Yeah, I, th I think losing players like Sampo, um, you know, more commonly referred to as um, Ataraxia, has been a major loss for Finland. But despite that, they've still got players like Zeppe and Amacetic who played last year. Um, of course, losing Hades as well is a, is a big one for Finland. Um, but again, they've still got Freeze, you know, um, solid player. And this team is still pretty solid. Um, they've got some excellent players to come in for fill slots. Um, Tikkanen in particular is very good sort of aim focus player. Um, so expect to see him on, you know, some of the Nomad ones or the Hard Rock ones. Um, you know, definitely more mechanics focused. And uh, yeah, some, some interesting players that we've still not seen a lot from yet. Um, Jamin and Isaac in particular have not... Uh, have not truly made their proper debut only coming in for a couple of maps in the qualifiers but again some really good stuff from them but of course on the side of indonesia you've got the you've got the high seed um you know they are uh one of the uh top 10 seeds of the tournament so you're expecting big things from these guys in the first round um and they've got the roster to prove it yeah roster on the side of indonesia that I think many would be familiar with if you've watched 3WC, even some of these players in 4WC. Um, incredibly good players for their rank, some of them. Uh, definitely, definitely some of them are underranked. And, uh, you know, if you've seen some of the stuff these guys can do, people like Ro, people like Ryuto, people like Dito, Rexy, some of these players in these other tournaments, 3WC, 4WC, putting up monstrous scores, monstrous performances. FCs on tiebreakers, things like this. Uh, this Indonesian roster is pretty damn scary, um, and it's why they've seeded in at number 10 in the World Cup. But like you said, we've got some pretty solid players on the side of Finland as well. I'm very excited to see Freezed in again this year, and because I believe he didn't play last year, but he did play the year before that. So he's come back and very, very strong player, Finnish star. Um, so it's great to seeing it, seeing him in and seeing some of his scores in this qualifier lobbies, seeing an SS on the no mod too. So yeah, pretty cracked, <laughs> pretty damn cracked. Uh, so, you know, moving on to a round of 32, round of 32 pool. I got no doubts that these guys are going to, they're pretty much not going to have many issues on a pool like this. Yeah. The typical thing with round of 32, especially for the low seeded teams is they got to watch out for, um, you know, it's those picks that they know they're not strong on, but it's also the picks that they don't have a lot of data on. Um, you know, a lot of the the maps that we saw, especially in our in the last matchup, um, you know, in the France versus New Zealand match, we saw a lot of um, surprise picks that uh, hadn't really been tested in the qualifier pool. 
um, that caught you know New Zealand off guard. And I think a similar thing has the potential to happen here if uh, Finland aren't careful um, with their picks. They've really got to pick into their strengths um, more than I think necessarily into stuff that Indonesia is not strong on because of the because of the the, the size of the pool. Um, you know, and the, the, the skill sets that are tested, it's much better to focus on your strengths rather than your opponent's weaknesses at this stage. Absolutely, I'd agree. When you go from, you know, an 11 map pool being in the qualifiers into, oh, not even, sorry, nine map pool in qualifiers, tiny pool, and you, you move into, you know, 15 maps in this round of 32, you've got some skill sets in here that weren't necessarily covered in that qualifier pool, just because the pool's not as big for, you know, obvious reasons. And yeah, so it's gonna leave some, it's gonna leave some areas open where perhaps these teams won't have as much data on the other team, as you mentioned. But enough rambling about the team's qualifier performances and how they stack up against each other. We're actually getting right into the match and it's gonna be a hidden two pick straight out from Indonesia. Extremely good, low AR hidden team and it's no surprise to see them pick this one straight into Finland yeah they've got some dangerous players for this one and it's understandable um, you know the difficulty with this hidden two is you know it's it's more in the aim focused sections of this map the streams itself um, well are tricky to read on sort of AR8 shouldn't pose any problems as long as players snap to them properly um, the flow isn't too demanding but it's the actual aim or the, the snappy aim to the triples that uh, tends to trip people up uh, tripped up a lot of our play testers um, on occasion so that's the sort of difficulty that uh, the players are going to face on this map um, but to be honest considering the difficulty of the uh, of the qualifiers uh, most of these players shouldn't have too much of an issue um, if they if they were comfortably hitting some of those patterns in the in the qualifiers hidden too. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, I'm just looking at this hidden two score from Indonesia over 3.1 million in their qualifier lobby. Finland not even at that two million mark. So you know, it's obvious why they've gone for this pick straight up. Indonesia is one of the best low AR hidden teams in this tournament. Even at seed number ten, they are just absolutely insane at stuff like this they've just got the players for it um, so yeah we are going to be getting into this hidden two i have aeon first pick for indonesia and in our second world cup match of the year this is going to be a good one i think i'm uh i'm a bit a bit keen to see if uh anyone's going to trip up on these these streams because i know when you get into a match on a, a low ar ar8 hidden map you know, especially first map of the match, it can be so easy to just leave an angle of one of these like turns on the streams, just a note too soon and just miss the whole thing. So I'm curious to see who the first default of that will be. Yeah, again, based on the qualifiers, Indonesia, one of the hidden powerhouses of this uh, of this tournament out of outside of, you know, the top four. Um, so it is going to be a skill set they're going to be heavily relying on um, to get to bag them some early points in these rounds. But Roe is going to run into a bit of an obstacle there, along with uh, Isaac, as we uh, have some early breaks. But a bit of a trade-up, so not too bad. Probably favours Indonesia slightly due to their better accuracy at the moment. But again, it's very minor. Um, only Desku really struggling on the accuracy side of things. Everyone else holding pretty solid so far, and you can see the streams themselves. They're not actually too difficult to hit once you get onto them, but it's the it's the snapping onto them properly um, and avoiding those chain misses. And everyone gets through those first set of streams. Impressive stuff from the entire Ooh. lobby. Ryuto misses one a little bit of nothing right after that break, which is a bit unfortunate. Isaac going to be the first to chain miss a whole stream. There it goes. Three FCs still to Finland's name though. And this score is still gonna be in their favor. Not with those act drops oh. and that chain miss from Kadzaks. That's gonna pull things over to Indonesia. Not super convincingly though. The combo advantage is there as well as the act lead. So they will hold the lead. Yeah, the recovery combo from Rowe is uh, definitely gonna help them out here. 
um, as well as Dito as well. Recovery, but it is still two full combos for Finland. We've still got Desku and Amacetic holding the line, so it's not going to be an easy pull for Indonesia. They can very quickly drop this. There goes the supporting combo from Ro. That is going to swing things the other way. Amacetic will oh, drop it. That is massive for Indonesia. They have really done out well there with Puma and Dito still holding. Desku can't really do much. Kazakhs and Isaac's combo it just isn't going to be enough to offset it. That last quarter left, it's in Indonesia's favor. Yeah, it's not much in it though, but with that chain miss from Kadzax, that is going to mean there is a lot in it as this score now is starting to fly over in the way of Indonesia. Everyone getting through these long streams. Isaac finds a break for Finland. Amacetic as well. It's just Desku still on the FC for them. But it's just not enough. He finds a miss at the end. It wouldn't have mattered regardless. Finland, they're going to be taking their first pick. First point of the match. Fuma. Closing. It out. With an FC. Indonesia. Yeah, solid stuff on that first pick for Indonesia. You expect it. Um, but it did look a little dicey. Um, Finland putting up some very good scores. Um, I think what's probably most surprising is some of the big accuracy drops we saw on some of those streams. We saw Hero drop to 90, just below 95%, um, as well as Amacetic. Those, um, those streams really hurt your accuracy if you chain miss or don't hit them perfectly. Um, they can drop your accuracy so quickly and do so much damage um, to your score. But yeah, crazy stuff from that first pick. So we look back over to Finland now to choose another to choose their first map. Um, and there is there is a couple of options open to them, but I'm not quite sure how they'll want to start this. Um, because anything they pick is going to be a big adjustment. They're going to go right into it, wasting no time. DT3. Yeah, I mean, speaking of big adjustments, we go from our air raid hidden straight into the speed pick. Uh, stamina speed pick, 240 BPM. Lots of bursts in here. Lots of longer streams as well. Not as aim focused um, as a lot of the other maps in this pool but very left hand focused on a lot of these, these patterns in this map. Gonna see who can tap for longer, who can tap faster, who won't finger lock. You're gonna see Freeze coming into the lobby for Finland. That's what, you, that's what you like to see if you're a Finland fan. Yeah, I don't see them changing much of their plan from the, um, from the qualifiers. Uh, which of course is you know comparable to the to the DT3 we we had might be some very slight adjustments with one or two players but overall you'd expect the same sorts of rosters to come in. Um, yeah, it looks like each team I think is just having one one player swap out from the qualifier DT3, which you know it's a bit of a bit of a more gimmicky focus map, so it's it's understandable you might change your roster from. Uh, more generic stuff. But yeah, let's see. I mean, Finland, they're a very strong double time team. Um, they had great scores across all three of their DTs that pretty much outscale Indonesia. Um, so you're expecting some good consistency from these players. Um, but with the difficulty cap slightly less, there is a chance for Indonesia to take this if they're not careful. So let's see yeah. what Finland can do. Absolutely, like you said, I think yeah, Finland, 500k to over a million on some of these DC maps and qualifiers, so very, very strong pick for them, I think, and they're expected to take this one. We're going to see an early break from Dylan. But uh, 7FC is still on the board regardless. In the favour of Finland. And everyone is... Holding relatively strong, I'd say that, Isaac. The first to drop for Finland, Dellen trades it back again. And things are going to stay relatively even as accuracy seem almost matched here. We're only, it's only about 10-15k difference, but that break from Zepe, that's going to be massive. 
Indonesia now in the driver's seat. Almost halfway through this map. And they are going to start to pull things over with a 3FC to 2FC lead. Yeah, it's a big accuracy deficit as well. You know, Isaac dropping down to 96. Um, isn't bad, but compared to the Indonesia roster, oh. their lowest is 97. We see. Big break from Freeze there. That really is going to open the door for Indonesia here. Um, big stuff coming out from them as they still hold three FCs. It's just anesthetic for Finland as Zeppe finds another reset. This has gone completely awry for Finland. Indonesia are just tearing this up. Triple FC on this one. And something I won't mention, but a triple FC and a huge supporting combo from Velo. Getting into the last quarter of this map. It is all but over for Finland on their first pick. Indonesia have just pulled something out of the bag on this one. Like you mentioned, these round of 32 picks, you've got to be careful. Something you might think you're favored on on paper. Maybe it's just easy enough. It's, it's at that stage in the tournament where this other team can still play it. As you can see, very clearly they can play it and Mindfrost can SS it. There it is. I didn't want to mention it. Takes home the SS for Indonesia. That's a ridiculous team score. That's what ridiculous. What is that? 4.2 million. Good wow. lord. Oh, wow. I mean, I don't even know how I begin to break that down. Um, let's give it a go. So, of course, Mindfrost ID with an SS on that map. Incredible stuff. No issues whatsoever. Um, and yeah, just continual good stuff. Three, nearly 1.15 million team uh, individual scores, as well as a good supporting recovery from Delon. Um, I'm not sure that there was a million things um, um, Finland could really do there. Uh, once they had that first break, um, Delon's was early enough that, to be honest, they were chasing from the moment they had their first break. Um, and everything kind of just fell apart from there. Um, that second break didn't seem to make that much of a difference because of just that massive team score from Indonesia. Yeah, that, that was, uh, that's going to be a punch in the gut for Finland because, you know, you come out of qualifiers with you're beating Indonesia by like over a million points on the DT3 and you, you go for something that's decently similar for the most part. Um, pretty similar to that DT3 in qualifiers and Indonesia just three-way FC it with a 730k to boot. Like, that's a 4.3 million team score almost. You've got to be feeling good if you're on Indonesia right now. Like, morale is high after that break point. And they're going to be probably very confident going into their next pick now. Ooh, it's gonna be no mod four. The Eater Crush Molt coming out. Yeah, I mean Indonesia, pretty damn solid tech roster as well. They've always been known as a pretty good one. Um, tends to be similar pick strategies for them in other World Cup tournaments, three WC, four WC. They love their no mod fours. They're gonna be bringing out this one in round of thirty-two of OWC. And uh, it's a relatively streamy no mod 4, as well as a lot of longer high velocity slider aim towards the latter half of the map. But a lot of the first half of this map going to be looking out for those breaks on these accelerating streams. Very easy to trip up on, especially with nerves. So, let's just see how these players, players handle it. Yeah, as well as the um, the other thing to be careful with is this uh, this no mod four is the um, there are some very tricky um, fast sliders in the second half um, that yep. players do need to be careful of. They are they are quite deadly and will um, trip up any player um, with the with the miss potential there. Definitely super easy to misread those uh, little. They're almost like little cut patterns, uh, but they're kick sliders. So yeah, very easy to misread those in the second half as well. 
Um, definitely expect to see a couple misses at least on those ones. But getting into our no mod for Indonesia's second pick after taking a break point against Finland. It's going to be Rexy's Dito, that noob guy in row, up against Isaac, Kadzak, Zeppe, and German. Yeah, so we kick this off. And again, Isaac with the first break alongside Zeppe. Dito going to be finding a miss. It's sort of kind of the same players, unfortunately, that are finding these misses early on in these maps, but it's the recovery that can really do some damage. And Isaac with the second break there. A bit more sniffed triple oh. break there. Zeppe, Ro, and Rexy's Dito as well. And that new oh guy gone. Big advantage for Finland here. This is, I mean, Indonesia just falling apart on these accelerating streams. They've just misaimed them all. Like, all of their players have found at least one break on these accelerating streams, and this is, that means a double FC for Finland now. And if they're able to hit this part, no, Jam finds a miss right before. A lot of free combo, a lot of free combo coming up, so. Finland aren't out of the woods yet with that break from Jem, and they've just got the one FC from Kadzax and a bit of supporting combo from Zeppe, but yeah, this is that that is not where you want to break your combo. Right before this free combo section, there is a lot here. Yeah, I was like gonna be finding a reset as well, so you know, with this free combo, if if Zeppe drops, uh, Indonesia are gonna really pull ahead here in this section. Uh, yeah, it's just I'm looking at players like Dito and that noob guy to really build their combos back up um, with the free section. Of course, Kadzak is going to be able to hold them off, and it's Zeppe holding oh. up. There goes Dito. That's huge. Row as well. Also going to be finding Miss Jamin will, will drop, but again, the damage is still being held by Zeppe and Kadzaks, who are doing the work here for Finland, holding them in. There's starting to be very little of this map left. Now we're into the high velocity sliders. Here we go. Kadzax holding onto that FC. Zeppe finds a drop for Finland, but it's all Kadzax right now. All eyes on him. As he pulls Finland over 500k into the lead. He finally finds a miss at the end of this map, but he's done more than enough for the Finnish squad. And Indonesia unable to take their second pick. Dingo did all he could in the ending there, hitting the whole thing. But Kadzax and Zeppe putting up some great performances there. I mean, Kadzax, man, almost F seeing that with 98%. Solid, Incredible solid stuff. play. Yeah, that is that is a tough map. Uh, definitely probably one of the toughest maps we've seen um, in this qualifier pool. Or oh, sorry, in this round of 32 pool, excuse me. Um, but it is a bit comparable to the uh, to the qualifier pool in, sort of, in terms of difficulty. A lot of people... Um, struggling to pull through full combos on that. But it's a good enough performance for Finland. It puts them on the board. Keeps them tied up with Indonesia to start this off. Yeah, I think yeah. uh, Indonesia is probably not going to be too happy with that performance. Definitely an underperformance from them on the Nomad 4. But, I mean, credit to Finland for, you know, kind of stepping up to the plate. Padzaks especially. They had a huge score, very much needed for them. And, I mean, Indonesia, they had their shining moment on that DT3, pulling out that three-way, and it was, I guess it was Finland's turn to come straight back with it. So, you move on, and we now move on to Finland's second pick. Chance here to equalize, to make things two to two, and it's going to be the DT2. This map yeah. is, uh, yeah, this map is very different from our qualifiers DT2. Um, so anything you see about the results from these teams on that DT2 and qualifiers, throw it out the window because this is completely different. Uh, this is very low BPM, kind of spaced alt patterns and streams. Uh, a little bit snappy in some sections, but for the most part, very flow heavy. Um, DT2, very gimmicky and very difficult to act as well. I was surprised at how difficult this map was to actually act. So 
uh, hard to hold a combo as well. So many of these sliders in this map, weird reverse sliders that you can so easily slider break on. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at this. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit surprised, to be honest, that Finland wanted to jump straight back in with this uh, with this DT2. Um, but DT3 did not go to plan. Um, but they're not they're not perturbed by that fact. They're just going to charge straight forward with this play, and it is understandable why they did. You know, have considerably better um, scores across the DTs, like we mentioned before. Um, so it is their area of strength, um, but it'll also give them the opportunity to just shake away those nerves and uh, level the score, hopefully. What a map to do it on, too. I think, you know, th this is a type of map where nerves can really get to you with the, the small, the, the CS6, you know, small circles and some of these weird reverse sliders. It's so easy to just miss a single tick or miss it at the head of that reverse slider and find combo drops. That's early on. Tick and end. First to drop for Finland. Yeah, Jamming gonna be finding a miss as well. And with that, already Finland not off to the best of starts. It's not a terribly long map, this one, so you really feel every break as Jamming also finds a second break, but Indonesia holding strong again. It's looking dangerous. If this trend continues, Hamasetic and Dito are gonna be tripped up. Yeah, they do an anesthetic trade. I mean, yeah, this is kind of scary. This is the kind of map that Indonesia is pretty damn good at, man. Even though it's DT. So scary pick from Finland, but they're doing all that they can. Indonesia holding onto a strong three-way. Dido going to be trying to recover now. It's halfway through the map. They is hitting all of these flow patterns. Dido with another break, but that's not the one that matters for Indonesia. So they're still going to be oh, sitting no. quite comfortably. Oh. Was that anesthetic right before the break? Yeah. Yeah. Right into the break, so he's got no combo. I mean, look at the look at the score difference already. You know, four hundred thousand points with a quarter of the map left. I mean, this is gonna have to just implode for Indonesia here. Um, for Finland to have a chance. I mean, there goes Row. That's one, but it's no. It's still not gonna be enough. With less than a quarter of a map to go. Oh, yeah. Reading section. Catching a couple players off on the side of Finland. Uh, Indonesia just looking so good, man. Ro find, uh, found a break there, dropping his FC, but they still got two. And Finland don't have a single one. Indonesia with another break point. And man, this is just what this match is three break points so far. What's going on? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's it's going the way of Indonesia at the moment because I think Finland might... Maybe they just don't think they've got strong enough picks in other sections, but it feels like they're a bit fixed at the moment with the with the double time, and it's that's two losses on double time now um, that Indonesia have just let them pick into. I think any other... I think they need to stay away from the sort of speed maps and try and try and focus more on mechanics. Um, they've got some strong mechanical players um, who can pull up some big scores, and I think that's what they need right now. Um, especially going into the next pick, which could end up being their last. Looking at the score from Indonesia, um, yeah, they've had some mixed picks, but their last one in particular was very strong for them. Could be their last match, or we yeah. could see another break point. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely could. We definitely could. Until we know what Indonesia's picking, it's too hard to say. Uh, the, the the pace that this match is going, you know, we're gonna see break points through to the finish line, I reckon.
I mean, that is, that is, what, three break points in a row now that we've had? Uh, I think so, yeah. I, yeah, the first first pick was hidden to by Indonesia, which was they took, and yeah, everything else has been a break point so far. So it's on Finland to keep the trend, and I'm curious what Indonesia's actually going to pick here. Um, you know, hidden one is maybe an option, just because of their hidden performances overall, and yeah, it actually, it really actually is going to be hidden one. Straight out from Indonesia, there it is. Paradigm, 4 2 one, zero. Yeah, so hidden one. Uh, if you're not sure of this sort of map, it's a very um, aim-focused um, hidden map. You have a lot of jumps at 180, 188 BPM. Um, should feel relatively comfortable for anybody who uses hidden in general. Um, quite comfortable, um, but there are. It does have its tricky sections, particularly in the middle. Um, there's a lot of difficulty built up around that area um, and of course being right in the middle of the map makes it even more dangerous because of how, uh, of how dangerous score v2 is in that you know if you miss right dead center of the middle of the map you're very much score capped for the rest of it um, which can be to the detriment of your team so definitely want to put in the players that can manage that um, that skill jump with uh, no real issue but the rest of the map is uh, is fairly comfortable to be honest shouldn't really pose any problems yeah absolutely uh, unless you're someone who doesn't like hidden and doesn't play as hidden it doesn't play hidden which you know in that case i don't see why they would be in the lobby right now on two rosters that are as good as this uh but yeah most of the map like you said pretty comfortable for anyone who has dabbled in a little bit of hidden i think maybe the only thing to catch them off would be a couple of the streams um, other than that, that middle section, like you mentioned, gets a bit techy, and that's where it really starts to test, you know, who is good at reading hidden. And we're going to see that probably come into play quite largely, if we see a lot of full combos held up to that point. I am going to guess that we're probably going to see a lot drop. Yeah, we will, we will have to see. Indonesia, though, in a very strong position right now, three points to one. Up against Finland, who are hoping to strike back with a uh, with a break point of their own after dropping that second DT map. But let's see what they are capable of on this very uh, very calm intro into what is a very nice map, to be honest. A very very nice song, very uh, very enjoyable. Good song, good map. Pretty fun to play all around, yeah. Love this one. Everyone getting through those intro patterns, no problems. No one getting tripped up on the stream early on. Sometimes can be a bit of an issue when you move into hidden, you know? You haven't adapted to that AR yet on the hidden. You just, just butcher the whole stream, but everyone uh, not having any issues early on. We've still got an eight way. In the first quarter of this map. Everyone hitting these. Weird kind of flowy snap patterns and the hexagons almost. Yeah, it's essentially boiled down to an accuracy battle at this stage. Uh, but oh, that Same time. doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't actually shake things up at all. It just keeps everything where it was because those breaks were pretty much identical. Um, for Ito and Isaac, so we're still looking for that decisive break to flip this, but. And that might be it from Dito there. Um, big break. And Row as well, I didn't even notice. That was a Wait, double I'm break. Zero, right? oh my God. Yeah, his combo went at the same time Dito who's did. And amacetic has gone now as well. So is Isaac, but that's not a big combo. But it is one full combo to two as Fuma drops his. Oh, yeah. This difficult section of the map going to be tripping up. Fuma. He drops some much needed FC for Indonesia. Amacetic breaks again, but that one doesn't matter. Katsax and Desku both get through it. Double FC for Finland into the latter half of this map. And I dare say that should be enough to pull them over the line. These players can hold on just for a little bit longer. Yeah, they're really in a strong position here. Indonesia's kind of just holding in there because of all of their combos being around the same level. Um, but a break from Fuma and Isaac there. Again, it's not a big combo for Finland. They have Desku and Kazax to hold them into it, but Ryuta dropping a massive amount of accuracy there with a 
break from Fuma. I don't see a way for Indonesia back into this one. Oh man, this is this is a performance from Desco and Kadax. Doing all they can for Team Finland and showing up on the hidden one. Not an easy map to FC ever. These longer kind of consistency focused maps, never easy to FC in tournament match. And they both hit the acceleration streams. Anesthetic, the only one to break in it. How is everyone hitting that today? <laughs> Man, I'm so surprised We've... to not see more breaks on that. Yeah, I swear, literally, Anesthetic is the only one to have broken so far yeah. um, on that map. So, very good stuff. But yes, Finland will carry on the trend with another break point here uh, and a pretty overall decent team score. Um, just pushing over the 3 million barrier. But it is, uh, it is a rough pick for Indonesia there. Um, no one's having any good time with their picks at the moment, are they? No, no. no. Four times in a row, apparently. Uh, we've had almost every single map in this match so far be breakpointed. And not just be breakpointed, but be breakpointed by considerable margins each time. <laughs> so I don't know what is going on, but we're going to have to see if Finland can break the cycle. And if you're hoping for a close match, and you definitely want them to, this is a chance for them to take it to 3-3. They need to try and figure something out here. DT hasn't been working. What can we pick to maybe catch Indonesia off guard, pick something into them where... You know, maybe, maybe, maybe go into their weakness. Maybe, maybe that's an idea for Finland, but we'll have to see what they're thinking about. Again, it's just, you've got to look at what's been working for Finland. It's been those aim focus picks that they've been able to pick up. Um, you know, it's, it's not been the speed that's, that's kept them in this. Um, they won on the sort of me technical mechanical Nomad 4, and then they won on Hidden 1. So those are the areas I'd be looking to try and um, focus on. So Nomad 1 is always an option. There is also some free mod. Um, Hard Rock 1 in particular is quite focused on uh, the technical aspect. Um, so again, that could be a strong pick if they're, uh, if they're feeling confident on Hard Rock. That's, those are the maps I'd be looking at. Um, something from Hard Rock or Nomad 1. But they're, yeah. they're going to ignore me and go free mod one. Yeah, it is going to be free mod one, but I definitely was, I was liking what you were saying about that hard rock one maybe being an option. Um, just because the two points they've taken have been on more kind of techier maps. I mean, maybe it's a little bit of a stretch to call hidden one a techier map, but just because of that middle section specifically. And of course, the no mod four um, break point. So. Yeah, I mean, Hard Rock 1 is an option, and perhaps it just wasn't picked because of that overall comfort on Hard Rock. Uh, you know, not being something that Finland are really favouring. So, it's going to be Free Mod 1. And, yeah, this is a pivot. I think they needed to pivot to something different. They've done it. They've gone for Free Mod 1. It is aim to an extent. Uh, pretty similar aim to the Hidden 1, albeit a little more awkward. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I think overall, I don't think this is a bad pick. Yeah, I mean, if, if, if they've got a plan, it must be to just try and, I can only think it's to just try and isolate the picks that are left. Um, but again, every pick going forward, and I mean, there isn't a lot left, but every pick going forward of these last two that they've got are going to be, in some essence, risky. Um, they can't afford another breakpoint from Indonesia because um, that just opens the door up too much. They need to hold this point. Um, try and put a bit of pressure on Indonesia here. But again, it's whether they can do it on this map. I don't. I honestly do not know um, if this is their map or not. I think it's too too up in the air for for me to make a call on this one. I am. A bit. I am a bit concerned to not see Freeze in the lobby. Freeze in the lobby right now, to be honest. This seems like the type of thing that would be his bread and butter on Hard Rock, but uh, it doesn't seem like he's going to be coming in for Finland. I mean, so they've, they've got maybe Zepe. that's a good sign. Yeah. Yeah, they'll have Zeppi on the Hard Rock, probably. 
Yeah, it means they've got someone who feels more comfortable than Freeze, which is, oh, these I mobs. mean, that's a statement in itself. And I mean, apparently they've got three players that feel more comfortable than Freeze on the Hard Rock because it's going to be Jammin, Desku, and Zepe. They're going to be taking a triple Hard Rock. Desku taking a hidden with it and Kadzax on that hidden only. For Indonesia, we've got a slight bit of overmod, but it's only going to be Mindfrost on the Hard Rock, Rex Season, Ryuto on the hidden, and New Guy on the no mod. So big mod advantage for Finland. And again, just to explain the free mod for those of you uh, who may not be aware, there are requirements on which mods you have to take. We have to have at least one hidden. Uh, in this case, you know, Rexy's and Kadzax would refill or fill that requirement. And then we have we must have at least one hard rock and hidden hard rock, which of course has been met if you can see. But it's interesting. So Kadzax is gonna be the first to drop here. We're dropping off that hidden. Of course, every other mod is optional, so, you know, Finland with the overmodding strategy, whether it will work to their advantage, still to be decided, but at the moment, it's not been the best of starts. They will keep it close because they will have the multiplier advantage. Zeppi going to be finding a drop on the hard rock. Yeah, and I mean, their multiplier advantage was keeping it pretty close, but that break from Zepe is going to put things comfortably in the favor of Indonesia now. Continue to hold on to this four way through this first key eye. Will any of them succumb to these weird overlaps, especially these hidden players? No. Doesn't seem so so far. Some of these overlaps can trip you up. You can think you might have to go back, but it's actually just like a perfect stack. And everyone yeah. getting through it. Dangerous part of the map right here. Um, yeah, you can see the intensity build up, but so far, everyone is trying to recover the best they can on the side of Finland, but Indonesia just storming ahead. Everyone's yeah. holding Dimash! <laughs> I know, <laughs> they're just holding the line! Streams, maybe it catches somebody out. No, it doesn't! Hold into the last quarter. This could be incredible from Indonesia if they hold all the way into this last section. Oh no. What is this performance from Indonesia so far, man? And Finland are going crazy too, but what do you do against a four-way right now? Desku finds a break for Finland, and that will all but seal it, I'm almost certain. Yeah, that's there was no, there was catching up before, but there isn't any now. And that is ridiculous from Indonesia. They're still going with four FCs. Someone break, please. <laughs> it's jamming. Please it's not, someone break. it's not from Indonesia. Oh, that, no way. They just four weighed it, man. What? That's their second what? four million team score in this matchup. That is insane. And on another break point, Dimash. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what is that? A 4 million team score on a non-DT map, dude. A non-DT map, they're gonna pull in over 4 million. That's ridiculous. What is that performance? Three of their players are over 99%. Rexy is the only one falling under that 99 on the hidden. Wow, that is that has to be the top score on that map for the week. Um, I would be shocked to see anyone take away that top spot from Indonesia on that map. Well, and I the break it's, point. Yeah, I think I think it's crazy because, like, it's not that you know, it's not like everyone was taking a mod and they FC'd, and it's like, oh, well, that's understandable. It's like it was just enough to put them over the four million. Um, but I mean, that is ridiculous. Um, I think three of them had perfects. And then um, you had Rexies who uh, dropped a couple of slider ends, but still more than good enough um, for this one. But that's just, yeah, that's just insane. They didn't, they only had three mods out of the potential four that they could have had for the multiplier. So they were at a disadvantage, but I mean, 3.2 million is nothing to sneeze at either. Yeah. Um, on this, like, imagine, imagine saying to someone that 3.2 million is a losing score. 
um, that that just shows the level um, of of ability in this matchup. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like you said, Finland, nothing to scoff at on that. 3.2 mil. They, it, it wasn't even a bad pick. Like, it was a good pick. I think that 3.2 mil, that's that's probably going to be the majority of teams in this tournament on that free mod one. I, I, like, that was a pretty damn good score, pretty good team performance. It was a really good team performance, but Indonesia just kind of turning it up another level. Uh, and they're going to take another break point for our, for our fifth break point in a row. Five out of six points so far. See if Finland can continue the tradition on this Indonesia pick, and it's going to be DT1, which, I mean, this makes sense after how the other two DTs panned out. Yeah, if, you, uh, if you've been watching so far, you'll know that Finland dropped both of the uh, DT maps to Indonesia in this matchup, and yeah, you're right, Finland n now to step up to the plate. Um, can't afford another loss and uh, they have to break here but I mean both of their points have come from break points so it's not that I doubt they can do it um, but it is on the DT they have not won a DT map yet um, despite being the favorites on it so they're gonna uh, they're gonna have to pull out something pretty special on this one but again they're still the favorites on this um, based on qualifier results uh, based on a lot of things, you know, you've got Kadzaks who was really strong on DT1 in qualifiers. Um, Freezed, you'd expect to come in for DT1. Um, those are some of the key players here that I think we need to see uh, pop off on this map to battle um, a really strong Indonesian roster. You know, Foom is definitely going to be in for this one. Um, that new guy as well. I'm expecting big things from on this one. So you've got a couple of players on both teams that, you know, if depending on who has the better run, could decide the match or keep us going. Is is Freeze not here? Have we seen him in for a match this match? Yeah, I, we have. Okay, I could have sworn yeah, we have. Like, I'm yeah, I'm just surprised not to see him in here for this DC one, like you said. He did, he played DT3. Okay, yeah. Potentially not feeling great today, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, not going to be coming in again. It's two maps in a row, I just expected to see him in, but... Plus, it's going to be Jam and Kadzak, Zeppe and Desu. I think the same roster from the Fremont 1, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that. Uh, side of Indonesia, Ryuto, Rexies, Ro, and that noob guy. They're coming in for this DT1 pick, pick from Indonesia, and their chance to close out the match in a 5-2 to two fashion. But uh, with the way this match is going so far, we're going to have to see if we can get our sixth break point in a row, courtesy of Finland. Yeah, it's on for them to carry on the trend. And there's no better time than to do it right now. On the, the final DT map. I was going to say the final pick, but that's... Potentially not accurate. Um, Jamin will find the first break. Um, but don't worry too bad because Rose going to come in, but Desku will also find a miss as well. And that's going to flip it back to how we were when Jamin broke. Which is in favor of Indonesia right now. First quarter of the map out of the way. Indonesia lead. Uh, 270 BPM DT1, by the way. <laughs> it's a very high BPM DT1. Uh, but it makes sense with the uh, state of the pool. The BPMs on those DTs, but yeah. We'll be seeing some crazy high accuracies from a lot of these players in this lobby. Indonesia looking very, very strong so far. 100k lead and climbing now with that FC lead. Three FCs to two. Big recoveries coming through from Desku, Jamin, and Roach, but. As FC's holding strong for Indonesia is keeping them in the lead. And it is giving them a score advantage as we get over halfway through the map now and into the next PI. Everyone looking solid, looking comfortable. Yeah, and I think this the problem is that Indonesia's just they've just settled into a rhythm now as Jamin will find another reset. And that is really bad. Along with Zephe oh, and Kadzaks. No. I mean it's just 
What? What? I mean, Red Six? Oh, wait. Hang on. Hang Speed on. Map. Speed map. Speed map. Speed map. What was that? I saw two too... quints in a 270 BPM map. <laughs> that too much happened too quickly there, but it's Ryuto yeah. and Desku holding on. Um, but unfortunately, that still favors Indonesia as it was Finland to break first. But, uh, and Ryuto close it out for Indonesia. Desku doing all that he can for Finland with this almost 1k combo, but it's more than enough from Indonesia. Ryuto, all on him to close it out with the FC. Can he do it? I don't care if I curse him. He does it. Let's go. He gets the FC for Indonesia, and they're going to close the match out 5-2 to two after finally breaking the breakpoint curse. Oh, there you go. They finally do it. They did it at the start and they did it at the end. But it was enough to pull them over the finish line. Um, definitely not as cleanly as they would have liked. Um, not actually... Well, actually winning more break points, I think, than they actually won of their own picks. <laughs> um, but that's the way it goes sometimes. But they've done enough. Uh, commiserations to Finland. They had a very, very good attempt. At, uh, at Indonesia, but again, top 10 team, just a little bit too strong for them this time around. There are your winners, Indonesia, with uh, a very good match. Yeah, it, it was a great match. I think I think a lot of people are going to be happy with that result. I, I have a feeling a lot of people had something along the lines of a 5-2 pick em, so <laughs> we'll have to see how people are feeling about that. That result, 5-2 to two, though for Indonesia. Congratulations and best of luck to them moving on in the winner's bracket. And best of luck to Finland, of course, moving on in that lower bracket. Not out of the tournament just yet. And uh, would have been curious to maybe see uh, uh, the outcome of that match if I believe Freezed was not on his own setup. And that may have been why we didn't see him in for a couple maps. We yeah. expected him to be in for, so... You know, unfortunate timing, isn't unfortunate. it, sometimes? Yeah.